South Korea is a week into the National Assembly's audit of the current government. So far, it has been a fierce battle between the two main parties, with many issues to grill each other over. What makes things even more fierce is that this is the first audit of the UN administration only five months since the end of the former administration's term. So with another nine days of audit to come, what can we expect? We have Professor Song se of Kyung University with us this morning. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. Now, the office and offense and defense have changed for this audit. Now that the People Power Party is a ruling party, the main opposition Democratic Party of Korea has been grilling the current administration, while the ruling PPP also has been calling up witnesses to grill the former administration. What are some main topics that each party has brought to the table to use to their advantage? Well, uh, as you said, this is a time uh, to inspect the government performance uh, by mostly uh, uh, opposition parties. Uh, but uh, it's, it's been becoming, and it has become, a, a, a stage where political squabbles and the smearing campaigns became the mainstay of the, of the day. Uh, specific issues, we, we look at some of the things that have been on the news, uh, such as uh, President Yoon's state visits uh, uh, to to other countries, whether it has brought any any, uh, any accomplishments, and that has become the, one of the attacking points, and some of the uh, issues involving prosecutorial uh, reforms uh, became uh, the other sides, uh, the the ruling party's attacking points, and uh, there are many uh, economic issues that are worth. Uh, uh, debating uh, things like inflation and the the comprehensive real estate taxes issues, but uh, the the way the the discussion has been going or questioning has been going uh, has not produced any probing questions in my mind at least, and it seems to me that it's going back to the usual uh, the, the the political venue of attacking each other for the sake of attacking each other in many cases. Right, while well, many things are stagnant at that point, at the point, there are some policies that people should pay attention to from each of the committees being looked into by lawmakers. For example, the yellow envelope bill was a hot topic coming into this audit session. How, is that turn how has that turned out? And what other bills are there that people should be paying attention to? Well, actually, that bill is being debated uh, or questioned today. And the yellow uh, envelope bill uh, is about the, the the limiting the capacity of the 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 company to sue for damages uh, if there is a uh, there there are labor unions or strikes, and that has become an issue for the past uh, almost ten years. It, the, the the main cause arose in in 2014 when the, the court awarded a large amount of sum against the labor union and uh, the, somebody in the public uh, started sending uh, money to uh, uh, make up for that the damaged amount. So uh, that will become a, a pretty hot topic, but I kind of suspect that it, it will, will produce any uh, tangible results uh, just because it has not produced tangible results uh, for the duration uh, since the original cause arose. Other issues, uh, I, I think that they will uh, talk about the economic issues. Uh, for, for example, things like the, the, the rice uh, price has dropped and causing some um, uh, concerns about the farmers on the farmers. but. Uh, that would be uh, just one issue uh, in the economic front. Uh, other issues include whether the renewable energies or the the nuclear uh, uh, plant uh, uh, the, the administration would be uh, ongoing, whether that would be a, a sufficient way to be prepared for what is becoming a kind of a global energy crisis because of the U Ukraine and Russian war. Mm -hmm. And uh, other issues, I, I think they will talk about the the North Korea issues because of the provocations mm -hmm. uh, in, in the North has been intensifying. So those are some of the issues they will talk about.
Right, and like you mentioned, North Korea's provocations has have intensified, and we still have nine more days of auditing. Do you, isn't this a perfect timing for the lawmakers to look into the defense readiness posture of the government, as they always claim? Well, I, I will just talk about the, the generalities, and not only the, the defense issues. Uh, if the past performance be the guide, I, I don't think the expectation is pretty high on the next nine days. Uh, remember, uh, this is a system where 14 standing committees in the National Assembly is inspecting over 700 or close to 800 agencies uh, in 20 days. So uh, on the average, there are 50 agencies per committee. And time and time again, it's becoming kind of a highlighting uh, stage where a political squabbles become uh, the mainstay of the day. Uh, in the past, we have seen it, it uh, national, the annual audit, audit uh, producing some stars with probing questions and their cross-examination skills, but uh, uh, it has not been doing the, especially this year, the, the other than having a panopticon effect where uh, the agencies know that somebody's watching uh, there, there has not been a, a, a pretty big issues so far on the part of the, the, the agencies, specifically for the, the defense and, and the North Korea issues. Uh, we have not seen a, a clear uh, direction of the UN government about the North Korea, other than the fact that uh, uh, they are working closely with uh, the U.S. and uh, trying to send messages to North Korea uh, saying that it's going to be uh, stand ready uh, right. when the the provocation intensifies, uh, but uh, I don't I don't think it will uh, has uh, materialized in a a a, a, a panoply of uh, policies that clearly indicate what kind of uh, strategic directions uh, that we're having f for uh, the North Korea uh, provocations and also. Uh, diplomatic issues. Right. I mean, Professor, I could sit with you all day to talk about all different things in the world, but I'm afraid this is where we have to cut due to time. Well, thank you again for your time this morning. My pleasure. Thank you.